I'm here at Burns High School where the word rebels is posted everywhere. Right now in the school district, school district, Spartanburg District 5 say they haven't heard from anyone who finds the word offensive. The rebel team is a spirit in the community. Yes, I want people to know that rebel does not mean confederacy. Jim McMillan and Michelle Wiles are joined by nearly 5,000 people on Facebook. They're planning a rally Monday to keep the rebel name. It has to do with a oneness of spirit, one focus, one team, one goal, and that is, is to be a good community. A Burns alumnus doesn't see it that way. This one Facebook post by Terry Moore over the weekend is what stirred up a lot of emotions. He wrote in the message that, quote, all symbols of racial hatred and pain should go. This is not about racism. Moore turned to the West Spartanburg branch of the NAACP for support. In principle, the organization is about supporting what he's saying. You know, anything that's racially offensive to African Americans. But then you've got the neighborhood that wants to speak and say whether or not they are offended. So we have to listen to both sides. It was hard for us to find anyone in the small community who wants to get rid of the name. Should the rebel name stay or, or go? I think the rebel name should stay. I don't see what the big deal is. We reached out to Terry Moore, but he hasn't returned any of our messages. The NAACP will listen to his concerns Monday night at 6 o'clock. That meeting will happen at the St. John Baptist Church in Welford. Now, the rally to keep the flag, to keep, to keep the name in place, will happen here at the school at 6 o'clock Monday as well. Corey Davis, WYFF News 4 Live in Spartanburg County.